In this session, let's understand a role of a DBA. Who is a DBA? You are the DBA. You are taking this course because you want to become the database administrator. So you need to understand what your role will be when you join an organization. Right? Yes. Let's dig in and find out what our role will be. The first role, installation, configuration, upgrade and migration. The DBAs have to install all the necessary Oracle database software, upgrade the software whenever new versions are released, apply patches whenever Oracle release these patches and also if necessary we have to migrate the Oracle database from one server to another server. Okay? Second one, backup and recovery. This is one of the very important role of a DBA. The DBAs have to come up with a backup and recovery plan and then take the backups according to the plan. They need to make sure that all the backed up files are stored in a location which you can access. Suppose you need the files for recovery, those files need to be in a location where you can easily retrieve and perform the recovery. Whenever a failure occurs, the DBA needs to know how to use the backups to bring back the database into operational mode without losing any transactions that were committed. Okay? Third one, database security. Securing the data is another important function of a DBA. DBA must understand the security model and needs to know how to use it effectively to control access to the data. Yes, DBA need to control on which users can log into the database, what objects they can access and also track who did what in a database. Yes, he needs to understand all these things so that he can protect the database. Okay. Fourth one, storage and capacity planning. We know databases are used to store and retrieve data. So regularly the DBA needs to assess how much of a disk space do we need to require to store all our organizational data. Maybe on a weekly basis he needs to see how much free space is available in the database and if required the DBA needs to add more space to accommodate all the incoming data. Okay? Fifth one, performance monitoring and tuning. The database administrator is also responsible for monitoring the database server on a regular basis to see if there are any issues on the database. Okay? He needs to use some kind of a monitoring tools to see how the database is running and if there are any bottlenecks. Sometimes if there are problematic SQL statements, he needs to work with the developers and tune the SQL statement so that it performs better. Okay? Sixth one, troubleshooting. On a regular basis, the database administrator need to look at the alert files, trace files and see what is going on in the database. If there are any major issues going on on the database, he needs to troubleshoot the database and if needed, work with the Oracle support and troubleshoot the issue. Okay? And the final one, high availability. In today's organizations where the database needs to be up and running 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, the database administrator needs to plan for high availability. That means he needs to come up with solutions where the database is up and running all the time. Example, the DBA needs to configure a standby database and the data from the original server needs to be replicated on a frequent basis into the standby database. And if for some reason the primary database comes down, the DBA can use the standby database. That means basically you are having a second database which is a replica of the first database so that if the first database fails, you can bring up the second 
database okay these are all the major roles of a database administrator we will be learning about each one of these activities in this course so why wait let's go and rock <laughs>